it's just so easy to get addicted. Like, for me, it's not even about what it does for me. It's like, it's just, it's like a, a thing you want to do. It's just like a thing you're so used to doing. You may have noticed an uptick in vaping among the province's youth in recent months. Well, according to experts, since 2018, vaping became three times more likely in 15 to 17 year olds than in 25 and over in Canada. Some smoking cessation experts fear that it could become even harder for the youth to give up these products altogether due to their affordability and accessibility. In the past 10 years, we went from about two to three percent of young people using e-cigarettes to about a quarter of young people reporting e-cigarettes in the past month. The whole notion that these products are available in very pretty colors, that are collectible, that you have different skins, that you can personalize, um, uh, you can buy bundles, you know, you're, the industry is there to encourage you to buy more at a time. And so all of these elements contribute to trivializing the harms of right. these products. I feel like nicotine is actually quite something serious. So once you have that addiction, you have it, you'll do anything to get it, you know. Flory Ducas explains that the appealing nature of these products, coupled with a lack of regulations in Quebec, paved the way to a larger problem. The industry is always reacting to keep those products cheap and enticing with different flavors and we don't have a ban in Quebec, we don't have a ban on flavors uh, nationally. And so a lot, of the, a lot of the elements that contribute to keeping the products uh, popular and easy to use among uh, a young clientele are still there. We have the lowest tobacco tax in the country. A common misconception around vaping this pediatrician warns of. There is a potential for vaping products to be less harmful for adults who would use them for smoking cessation. It's not the case for young people. There's no evidence that vaping would be a, a successful or useful tool for young people to quit smoking. So really what we're seeing in young people is that they're using these products not instead of cigarettes, they're just using them and without using cigarettes. And he is already getting a glimpse at some of the short term effects. We do know that in the aerosols that come out of the e-cigarettes when we brew through them, there's a number of different chemicals. Some of them could be associated to an, an increased risk of, of cancer in the long run. To this vape shop owner, vaping products should only be sold at official vape shops to serve their purpose of helping adults combat their nicotine addictions. Years ago, like we, didn't, we were not dealing with, with this, you know what I mean? And it's like, and it was within our establishments. And when it started hitting the street, like left and right, like all over the place, like it became like a big problem. In Montreal, Sasha Tiemann, City News.